Uh, you, you two guys have known each other for a very, very long time, going way back to your telenovas and, and, and early part of your careers. And I don't know whether there's a sense here that it was it was very, very easy to tap into this kind of notion of, of almost being brothers. Yeah, it was kind of easy. And and when we had, uh, I mean, when we had trouble, we just we just looked at Alfonso and Carlos. You know, the, the, mm -hmm. the they're they're like Rudo Cursi. They're perfect for this. You know, a perfect example. I mean, they're always yeah. fighting. They're always whenever uh, whenever we didn't get the sibling rivalry, we always say like, "What would Alfonso and Carlos do in this situation?" situation. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and given the, the, the longevity, but you know, you bo both broke through in two thousand and one in a big way. For for most people, it was, it was a big kind of breakthrough for with why tu mama tambien. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Y tu mama tambien. Y tu mama tambien. Are you sure about that? <laughs> but that's the pronunciation. Yeah. But that idea that you have that sort of career <laughs> that you've both gone off and done your own thing and, 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 and now you're back together. I don't know whether there was a sense of, like the two brothers, there's any kind of rivalry kind of creeps in the back of your mind or any kind of sense of, you know, I wonder how he's doing, I wonder how, you know, was that ever ever kind of coming to you? Uh, yeah, every director that has worked with, uh, with Gael, I, I, I give them a call at the end. <laughs> how was it? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know how could have been with me? <laughs> no, come on. There's no rivalry. I mean, we're friends. We're we're. Uh, it's exactly the opposite way around. You know, it's it's really nice to know you have someone you you like, you care, you respect, going through a process like yours, and and you can chat and and discuss what's going on and have a little help. You know, sometimes. Well, for all four of you, including Alfonso and, and Carlos, this is a, a reunion of sorts. And, and 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 given how successful that breakthrough film had been. I don't know whether you felt any kind of pressure here to, that this better be a wonderfully magical moment because people <laughs> may have expectation. I know it's in the top three grossing movies in Mexico now, which is wonderful. But as you came to make the film, did you feel that pressure to live up to something? For us, yeah, a pressure oh. for, I mean, from us rather, um, mm. to want to make something special and want to make something that would uh, kind of, uh, that would let us into a way to experiment things that we wouldn't dare do on our own or do with other people, you know, and and I think we, we tried out a few things, a few things, uh, uh, the the tone of the, um, of the film is a very, has a very specific tone that we sort of created it and the universe that the film has. It was very interesting to be able to, to create something uh, and to risk a lot by doing it. And if we weren't together, really, we wouldn't dare to do it, I think. So that's why, that, that's where the pressure came. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, uh, obviously the first day or two, uh, there was a lot of, of uh, a lot of time just thinking about, well, y tu mamá también and how great it was, you know, but as soon as we started this process, uh, I mean, this was tough enough, you know, I mean, there was a lot to do, a lot of work and uh, and a great crew. We had amazing people joining us, like the, the production designer or the DP, they were new people. They were not in Itumama Tambien. So, so it was instantly was like very special because of this film, not because of what happened before you. Well, I uh, uh, talked to Alfonso and Karan, uh, uh, Alfonso and, and uh, Carlos earlier. He just mentioned the fact that in a way, this first film that you're kind of grown up people and or you're sort of adults or, or you're kind of at that point in your life where for him it was like you were no longer kind of, you know, young kids or... And I don't know whether, because you're both fathers now, I know that, that, that your, your son will be one in August and, and your January, I think your son was born. And I don't know whether that kind of makes a difference to, to the way you feel about your job or whether it's just a, a thing that happens in private and it makes no difference to uh, No, it does work. make a, it, it makes a difference, not to just in your everything. work, yeah. everything, every decision now, you know, you, you, there's something more important and... and than anything else there to consider, you know, always. And, and it's part of you now. But uh, this film was shot when we were not fathers and we were not, at least I wasn't planning it at the time. Uh, so probably it's the last, the, the, the last film uh, that'll will have that actor, you know, because now I'm def definitely a different person. And uh, I've got to wrap up now very, very quickly, though. Th did you ever suffer from that sort of fame thing that happens to these two guys with, with Beto and Tato? I don't know whether that the success ever went to your heads the way it does here. Did you ever catch yourself thinking, I'm being a, I'm being a bit of an asshole here. I should, you know, just catch myself. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I mean, from the... From the <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> no, more in the aspect of being scared of fame. But it's very different to what they... They, they don't get scared about it. No. Um, and, but we we got a little bit scared, no, we, a few times, yeah. yeah. And and I think you keep on doing it, 
even, even being to, scared yeah. a little bit but it's part of life i mean it's, it's quite nice to it's very different also like the type of fame that one has uh, from doing what one likes doing that's very different from having a fame that you yeah, don't fame you and don't attention want. is not the same you know and when when your work has the attention of an audience is amazing and to know that is is it's a it's something to be honored and, and to feel proud of you know but the the fame these guys go through is that that is cheesy horrible and and painful you know 